yo what is up guys it is some more back again with another epic 7 video for you guys today and today we're going to be talking about the update and patch that just released for the game and as you can see on your screen here there is a new specialty change unit that was released in summer's disciple alexa a new ml5 star in sylvan sage vivian and also some new exclusive equipments for balances on aramintha and sid now for the units, we're just going to be talking about them briefly because I do plan to release videos in the future after this video is released talking about those units more in depth and we'll just talk about the exclusive equipment as well very briefly because there's not too much to talk about for that. So yeah, the specialty change unit is going to be for Alexa, Summer's Disciple. Most people thought it would be a new limited unit but actually just ended up being a specialty change, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm not going to go over the artwork. If you guys are curious, you guys can check out the trailer for that on Epic 7 official channel. But yes, her S3 is being changed to give her an attack buff as well, which is very nice. It is a three turn attack buff, which is actually very, very long for a three star unit. Usually three star units only get like two turn buffs at max, but three turns will be very, very nice, especially if you use her in, you know, like Wyvern, right? Where you actually need more damage. Um, and yeah, these are the runes that are being changed. You're going to see that she's just getting you know, extra damage and extra bulk as well, but she's getting 10% attack and 5% crit damage, which is very, very nice. And if you look at the other runes, you're also going to see that she will give her entire team 2% attack, actually 3% attack, which is a lot. It adds up to 9%, right? Because you're buffing yourself. Um, actually, 12%. You're buffing yourself and your three teammates. And also, you're going to see that whenever she's attacked, if the attacker has a debuff, she will take less damage. So, you know, that might help in some other areas of content outside of Wyvern. But for Wyvern, this won't really matter too much. Now, looking at her S3, it's also being buffed by runes. You're going to see that her S3 will also have a 5% target max health um, damage bonus to it, which is very, very nice. And also, you're going to see whenever you use your S3, the cooldown will actually get reduced by one turn if you crit, which you should be always doing anyway. So just think of that as a cooldown reduction rune. Very nice because you're going to see now that this does a lot of damage. So you're going to see with the buff to the damage, it did about 67k to the Wyvern there, so it's very nice. Um, you're also going to see that her S2 is being changed as well. Her S2 is going to have increased damage, which isn't you know too important, but it's actually very nice because you know the S2 base damage is actually still pretty high. You're also going to see that she actually CR pushes herself by an additional, I think that's 20% if my math is correct so it'll be up to 50 percent which is very nice for you know wyvern and even fire expedition if you guys want to bring her there now you're going to see from her s1 guys her s1 will also cr push herself by 10 percent so yeah the cr push additions to her kit will make her actually pretty viable in fire expedition as a damage dealer now and also it just buffs her for wyvern right she's just getting a lot of you know cr more damage which is very nice so i think she'll be a very premier unit for wyvern not going to talk about her too much in depth here guys but i do think for free to play players now she might even be worth it you know more so than cigarette even because for cigarette if you want to use cigarette you have to invest a lot of molagora into her and if you're new to the game you might you might not have the molagora to spare or you know you don't want to waste molagora so in that case you might as well just use alexa because she is free to play she doesn't require mola because she's a three star and you know she's a very very powerful unit from what it seems like um after the specialty change uh specialty change changes so i think she'll be very powerful and i think she might even do more damage than cigarette especially if you're earlier into the game because alexa does do more damage than cigarette until you get you know a lot more gear so yeah very very powerful unit guys i think she'll be very cool to use and yeah i think she's a very very um you know nice change to have to the game because yeah alexa definitely needed a specialty change um for like for sure so yeah very powerful i think she's gonna be very cool next we have ml vivian so we have sylvan sage vivian you know artwork 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 let's look at her stats and her skills real quick so you're gonna see from her base stats here so actually i skipped over it but her base stats here you're gonna see that she has very high attack for a mage actually pretty average mages all have high attack but her defense is pretty high and you're going to notice that her imprint concentration here is going to be critical hit chance so it's very very nice this unit is going to use imprints very well because critical hit chance is the best imprint in the game outside of the speed imprint so very very nice um, if you guys have spare vivians you should imprint her she's going to be very powerful if you look at her kit i think she'll be very fun to use because yeah as you can see from her kit here her s2 is going to be a 
focus based mechanic basically she'll take less damage over time we'll talk about it more in depth later but basically she's just going to take a lot less damage whenever she's attacked right if she's taking more than 25 percent of her max hp in that attack she will use one focus only to decrease damage suffered and decrease skill cooldowns by one turn now this sounds ridiculous because it's only consuming one focus you don't need five focus for this to proc you only need one focus so you're basically resetting the cooldown of your skills very frequently of your s3 and also you're just going to be super super tanky so it seems really annoying and seems kind of overpowered in my opinion but yeah you're going to see your s3 here is an aoe attack that will have a crit hit damage buff for all your allies it is thunderstorming outside wow and will also recover hp and also increase attack of herself now the attack buff for herself is not actually a buff it's just a stacking effect similar to like landy's s2 or even you know c lorena's s2 or even luluka's s3 and you're gonna see you're gonna recover your hp proportional to the target's max hp so yeah she's very bulky she has a lot of um, buffs for her team with the crit hit damage buff she's going to be scaling over time in a longer fight and she also has sustain so i think her kit seems a little bit overloaded here you know um, let's look at the animation real quick so you're gonna see it looks pretty nice actually actually very very nice um, but i think she's gonna be uh really annoying to deal with because she seems like she's very tanky right already and she has a lot of sustain and she has you know her s3 is gonna be cycling very quickly and you're also gonna see talking about cycling guys her s1 single target attack will increase speed of herself so she'll actually cycle herself pretty quick and you can actually soul burn this to make this an aoe attack now this is very nice for pulling units out of stealth such as like landy and also hitting you know units that are in perma stealth like specter Tenebria. so instead of you know just having a basic s1 um, they actually made it so you know she gets speed and now you can also soul burn it to actually make it an aoe attack which is very very nice so yeah ml vivian guys i think she'll be very very powerful we'll talk about it more in depth later on but i think she's definitely going to be at least like above average for pvp pve won't be used that much but she looks pretty cool and you know unfortunately it got censored a bit but you know that's that's a topic for another video but yeah i think she's a very very cool unit and she seems pretty strong now let's talk about the exclusive equipments real quick so the first one is going to be for ball and sazan it will give him attack and then you can see here he can either get damage on his s1 or on his s3 he can get a dispel or an increase of the you know effect chances of the debuffs so i don't think this will change him too much i still think he'll be an earth expedition slave you're just basically going to get the s1 uh exclusive equipment here on his ghost taunt and just slap it on him for your earth expedition team and he's still probably only going to be used for earth expedition but i guess the damage is nice for increasing your score there next we have aramintha so this one is very 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 interesting you get speed as a base stat here so it will make her a pretty viable opener she'll be able to contest some more speed um tiers and you're gonna see here that she actually will get one on her s1 that will actually increase the chance of burn one for s2 to actually increase the cr push and also s3 to increase the chance of stun i think s2 and s3 are your best options here it really depends on how you want to play her whether as a disruptor or just a pure opener really up to you but yeah definitely a cool change because aramintha did get some buffs some changes actually and she looks pretty fun to play and now with this exclusive equipment maybe it'll be a lot easier to use her because her problem was that she was getting out speed like outsped a lot right so i'm um, pretty cool next we have sids so sid is really weird in that he's getting effectiveness for his exclusive equipment i don't know why he's not getting attack or even speed or anything but effectiveness honestly even hp <laughs> but yeah we're getting effectiveness and you're gonna see that he has one on his s1 where he'll, where he'll have a chance to decrease speed of the target um and then also we have a you know one for his s3 here which will decrease cr of the target by 30 percent and we have another one for his s3 which will grant advantageous element regardless of whether you're granted increased speed or not because before you needed the speed buff i think the advantageous element one is going to be very very nice because you know you can just insta delete someone right away without soul burning so it looks pretty cool um i think this unit will be um, even better than he already is he's already pretty good um i don't know why they gave him effectiveness though that's extremely weird but yeah um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the units and the exclusive equipments, guys. So just to summarize, um, now we have the banner. So Summertime Asteria is running for one more week. If you guys are curious whether she's worth pulling or not, make sure you check out my last video talking about her. Next, we have Tenebria's banner, which will be running very, very shortly. I'll probably release the video very, very shortly after this video is out, um, just to talk about Tenebria really quick. And then next week, we have Vildred with his artifact. And we also are going to have Ball and Sazan with his artifacts. So yeah, um, what's it called? Be, uh, you know, stay ready. I'll be releasing videos 
about these units in the future very very soon if you guys are very curious on whether they're worth pulling or for or not and yeah that's pretty much it for this patch and update preview guys nothing really too heavy just new units honestly and and exclusive equipments it's not a, it's not a huge update but you're gonna see that ml vivian here is gonna be running on the 21st so yeah save your mystic metals because she looks pretty cool so yeah this patch isn't anything too crazy guys just new units and yeah just new banners and exclusive equipment so stuff like that hopefully they release a bigger patch very soon if you guys are wondering when summertime or not summertime in syria when seaside bologna is coming out guys she'll probably be coming out very soon i'd say by the end of july or early august so don't worry too much about that um they're just baiting you with banners right now so yeah that being said guys hope you guys found this video helpful guys if you guys want to see more of these you know patch previews and you know you know updates then let me know in the comments down below and also hit that like button i'm planning to release these you know more frequently because there are patches pretty you know regularly um i'm gonna try to release them in a timely manner right after the patch gets released so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next video peace